it's the dance moves for me. <laughs> it is the dance moves for me. JP, you got my vote without a doubt. Uh, let's bring it to the kitchen now and uh, get some inspiration as far as uh, Daniel Craig's uh, actual meal diet plan looked like. At the height of his training, the 51-year-old, he had to do a lot of switch-ups. Had to eat five to six light meals a day. It's quite a bit of meals to eat, but he had to sort of do away with the carbs and the bad fats and all of that. Introduce a lot of protein. And that's why this morning we are doing just that. The protein. It's a protein explosion. It is a protein explosion. So, mm. of course, protein, a big piece of steak. You can't go wrong. Yes. We do have a yummy, delicious brown rice that we're going to be preparing mm -hmm. with that. But you're also putting your own spin on a protein shake. Well, I thought let's switch it up a little bit this morning. Uh, I mean, he, he does enjoy a good martini. Yes. And uh, But he also had to have lots of protein shakes. So what I'm going to be doing is I've got some protein powder over here as uh, well as some soy milk. Mixing all of that together, I'm making a protein shake, but like a martini. There we go. Shake. Yes. How's that? Fantastic. It hey. sounds good. I'm getting all our stoves, yeah. our, our plates on here. Nice. So, of course, we're going to start off with our preparing our rice. I have got some rice here. I'm going to add it to our little bit of a pan. So, how would you like your martini? I would love it shaken, please. Shaken. Shaken. Oh, say I would this. love it shaken. A little say bit of water. This, yeah. There we go. And then, of course, we are adding a beef <laughs> stock cube to our rice to add some flavor. You don't have to use a beef stock cube. You can use a vegetable stock, um, really just to add. Are you shaking okay? Yeah. There? No, over the shoulder is what the producer says to me in my so ear. So do but it over I the know shoulder I'm, I'm like I'm a... super clumsy. It's going to go all over the place. So it's better to just... No, 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 no. You need to <laughs> shake that properly. It's far <laughs> over the shoulder, far. And a little bit of salt. There we go. So we're going to let our rice boil for a little bit and obviously get ready, yep. making sure our stove is on. Fantastic. Ooh. And then we're going to move over to the steak. And a steak is one of those ingredients. How do you like your steak? Uh, medium to well, please. Medium well. Medium Are you one of those well. people that butcher the steak? Yeah, it has to go through quite a bit of a process. <laughs> okay. So I personally <laughs> prefer my yeah? steak rare. Okay. But we're going to go for a medium rare towards a medium. Okay. So I'm Perfect. going to just season our steak. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it, put a bit of salt and pepper on it. While I get your... Martini inspired yes, please. protein shake. Just shake a shake. bit of salt yeah. on it. So that's I'm going to give it a little bit of a rub with this just mm. to get that olive oil everywhere and season on both sides. Mm. There we go with some salt and pepper. And then, as you can see, we have our griddle here that is nice and hot. Mm. And we're simply going to pop our steak onto it. I love the ease of preparation for this. You really don't need much ingredients. I no. mean, it's literally just. Getting that together, quick, quick and easy. And easy, that's what we want. So of course I'm gonna yep. also prepare a little bit of, in fact, it would help if I put the right one on, prepare a bit of spinach for us, because it's also, you know, really good for you. It's got yes. great content. So just yep. a little drizzle of olive oil. That rice and I mean, is, is, is perfect, especially if you're substituting and doing away with all the sort of bad carbs. Yes. That is a great one, and brown rice in particular. Okay, so our spinach go. goes into what? Like some a little bit of oil? I or? just drizzled a little bit of olive oil okay. and we're going to cook that down. And this is really how quick and it easy it is to I make a delicious that. Bond meal. I <laughs> love that. Well, you've worked really hard there with the stove and all. I'm going to offer you this. This is a nice refresher in between while you Thanks. move Ooh. from pot to pan. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how's that? Looks good. It's fancy it for a protein good. shake. A huh? little protein shake. I'm going to mm -hmm. give it a little bit of a sip and give mm. you a judge on that. Ooh, Tubsy, this is mighty fine. Fit this for that good. diet. Ooh, Come ooh. on, what okay, do you know about it? It's mine for breakfast. It is definitely <laughs> yours for breakfast, and I know you're going to be drinking that entire thing. There's more here for you. Mm. Listen, what we've done is made this super easy for you. If you want to uh, cook along and get involved with this recipe, uh, go onto our website, espressoshow.com. Very few That's ingredients necessary for it, but it's quick, and it comes out looking so, so good. That's what the final this product is. This is my kind of like. cooking. Standing right? here with a protein. With the glass in hand. Here we glass go. Glass in hand. <laughs> glass never too far. I love Never to see Never too it. far. So there you go. Once it's done, of course, it all depends on how you like your steak. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go three minutes on the one side, flip it over to three minutes on the other side, and then take it from there. But then you can just simply serve it up, your steak on top of your bed of spinach. Mm. And really, you can have a lovely, tasty um, bowl of rice. Can't wait to get into that steak. Thanks so much, Zoe. I know. Expressoshow.com. Okay.